is it reasonable to consider abiogenesis as a science? I know it's an aggressive question and assumptions are being challenged, but the assumptions that life start that people start with who study this, which don't seem to be falsifiable, nor is there any experimentation showing life to a non-life to life transition. And I think the study of the origin of life is a fascinating field to me. And I touch on it in the book and um, am like very interested in continuing to learn and write about it. Um, There is an unanswerable question, which researchers in the field agree is not what they are pursuing and not something that will ever be answered, which is the historical question of how life began on Earth. We don't have a time machine. We're not going to know it. Um, (laughs) I mean, in terms of all the sci-fi that I... Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. All right. If you're working on it, that's cool. But like, there's even... (laughs) There's an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where Q brings Picard back to the moment. where He's like, right there in that pool. And I'm like, oh, I wish we could do that. Um, (laughs) So no one is really thinking that they're going to say this is how it happened. There are some researchers who are working on being able to say this is how it plausibly could have happened. We don't even have the answer to that. Then there Mm -hmm. are researchers who are working on this is how life in general arises in general, Um, trying to abstract from Earth's chemistry and look at what life fundamentally is, what is the distinction between when matter is ruled by the laws of physics and when something else kicks in. Um, One of the big challenges to that is that we don't have a theoretical understanding of what life is. Um, I talk in the book and people often ask me about like, we don't have a definition for life. And it's true, we don't. But that's not because we haven't found it yet. It's because life isn't the sort of thing for which definitions are useful. And this is drawing on the work of philosopher of science, Carol Cleland, physicist Sarah Walker. I don't want to make it seem like I figured this out myself. Um, no, Sarah's been a guest and uh, Sarah's yeah. been on the show. And so is Lee Cronin. And they're both yes, mentioned in the in Exactly. The yeah. Mm-hmm. And so um, Cleland points out that definitions are useful for understanding what words mean, but they don't tell us fundamentally what, like, uh, how the universe works. So I don't need to know what L-I-F-E means. Just like saying gravity is the force that holds me to the earth doesn't tell me anything about how the universe works. It doesn't help me understand anything scientifically. And so a definition for life isn't going to actually help. And that's why the definition project, there's always something is included that you like, oh, my definition accidentally includes fire or excludes mules because definitions are not useful here. But we don't have a theory of life, and it's questionable whether we can work towards one with only one example. Um, Sarah and Lee are working on developing a theory of life that, um, off the idea that what's fundamental about life is complexity and the ability to store information, sort of to have a memory that persists through time. Um, But... Cleland says that you just can't do it from one example. You have to get too abstract. You're not actually drawing from specific evidence. And so we have to go about the search for life and the study of the origin of life differently by sort of um, not trying to be too constrained by definitions, but being sort of open-minded, looking for anomalies, things that are sort of maybe lifelike, and then we dig in deeper there. So it is a tricky Mm -hmm. field in that we don't have a clear framework yet. And we're sort of trying to find that framework and find evidence to build that framework from and find evidence to support the framework that we don't totally have yet, that we're sort of trying to design the house and build the house and measure the house all at the same time. 